everyone. Welcome to today's video. We are going to be talking about planners today, which is one of my favorite subjects, and more specifically, how to choose a planner for 2017. So I did a video very similar to this in 2015, I believe, um, just kind of going through some different planner options. I had a lot of positive feedback on that, so I wanted to do an updated version for 2017. If this is your first ever video with me, welcome to my community. My name is May. I am a lawyer and entrepreneur, and I just do this YouTube thing for fun, but um, I'm so very lucky that I have an amazing community of people who um, support me and have fun along with me and join me on this journey. So as you may know, YouTube is doing some crazy things to its algorithms. So if you would please give this video a like and please subscribe to my channel to show your support. I would appreciate it so much. Um, YouTube is, like I said, making these changes and it's making it difficult for those of us that have smaller channels and are not full-time YouTubers. Um, so we would appreciate it if you would um, show us some support by subscribing. Okay, anyway, let's get into the video. Now, I do wanna mention that I'm gonna be going over some specific categories of planners. So you will see, um, you know, like a desk agenda, you'll see spirals, you'll see ring bound planners. But please know that even though I'm talking about specific planners, I really want to stress the categories more than the planners. So um, if you see a type of planner that you like, but maybe not the aesthetic of it or the specifics of it, just know you can always choose a different um, like specific planner within that broader category. But that being said, these planners that I'm showing you guys are my absolute favorites. Um, within each category. So let's get started. Let's talk about this pretty little thing from Sugar Paper first. If you guys have been following me for a while, you know that spiral um, planners and calendars are my absolute favorite. They're the ones that I default to most often. I mean, I think all of these planners are great for beginners, so I don't wanna choose one over another, but I always think a, when you wanna like get started organizing, a spiral planner is the way to go. Um, we'll talk about six ring binders later, those are great because you can customize them, but they also have um, a lot of different choices. And sometimes when you're just getting started, it's better to just like pick something and get started as opposed to trying to customize it too much. So this is the gorgeous Sugar Paper LA 2017 planner. The team at Sugar Paper was so generous in sending me this planner and they even monogrammed it for me in this like gorgeous gold foil. How beautiful is this? It's a really nice denim color. Um, it's a fabric. And then when you open it up, here is the spiral bound system. I love the inside, the polka dots and this really beautiful embossed white paper. Again, it has a lot of this gold detailing, which I love. And it's a pretty standard planner. It has the monthly tabs running down the side and then um, the cover page has a different quote. Each month has a different quote. There is a monthly dashboard with a to-do list and notes to send ideas, and then an etc. box. And then we go straight into the weekly layouts. Again, pretty standard for Sugar Paper to have um, a week on two pages. They have the date and then the day of the week and then just aligned um, areas for each day. The back of the planner has some fun tabs. There's a birthday, a thank you, and then a take note section. And then the take note section just has lined note pages. You can see I've already started to fill it out on this side. So again, oh, and then it does have this folder in the back. So really great option if you're just starting out. Also, if you want to gift a planner to someone, I think this would be a beautiful option. I honestly don't know if everyone's able to get this monogramming or if this was just something that they sent out um, as PR, but definitely check into that because this is a lovely touch. All right, real quick, let's talk about my Louis Vuitton desk agenda. Again, I talk about this all the freaking time, I know, but I just love this planner. Um, actually, this isn't a planner, this is a agenda cover. So you can put whatever you want into it. And I love that because um, this just offers so much versatility and helps you to um, make your planning and organization a little bit more chic. So you can literally choose any planner you want and as long as it fits in it, this is just a cover that goes over it. Now, please ignore what I've put in here. Um, this is just a notebook that's way too big for it, but I wanted to like use up the pages, so I just stuck it in here. But this is a super fun option if um, you have a, a agenda that you like 
and that you want to use the insides of, but maybe you're not a fan of um, the like outside cover, you can always slip it into this Louis Vuitton desk agenda. Absolutely beautiful, super chic, and again, obviously a wonderful gift option. Because then the person that receives it can personalize the insides to whatever their organization system is, but they still have um, a gorgeous cover on the outside. And again, I just customized this with some leather stickers. Um, check my vlogs, my LA vlogs, and I talk about these in one of those. All right, next up is this really cool option from Danielle Laporte. This was again sent to me. Um, this is really big. It's like having I'm having a hard time fitting it into the whole frame. But this is called the Desire Map Planner. It's the daily edition. Um, like I said, the team at Danielle Port did send this to me. Um, but I love this concept. I think this is for someone who wants a lot of inspiration along with their planning. So um, not just you know very standard to do lists and organization. Um, tactics, but really someone that wants a little bit more inspiration and motivation. Um, you know, this is really cool. She talks about like a monthly check-in, my core desired feelings, my major intentions and goals for the year. To generate that through my intentions, I will. So again, this is a little bit more um, intentional planning and um, incorporates some goal setting, a little bit of, you know, touchy-feely, woo-woo kind of stuff, which some people love and then you can go into these daily pages now here's a great distinguishing um point and something to keep in mind there are daily options there are weekly options and there are monthly options um i'm talking about planners in general not for this one but here you can see is an example of a day per page option if you are someone who um likes to get really detailed in your days map out your days look at your to-dos, um, things like that, then a daily um, planner is for you. You know, you can put your schedule on here. Um, that This was a weekend one that I was showing you, but let's look here. You can put your top three things, your to-do list. I love that this one talks about a stop doing. Um, it has a section for gratitude, things you wanna change. And then this is fun. You can just um, kind of pull off this tab and use it as a page marker. So. This planner from Daniel Laporte is a really fun option. Again, if you want a little extra um, inspiration and again, if you wanna go deeper with your planning, I think this is a good option for you to check out. And let me show you guys a monthly view. Um, really nice size boxes and every month is a different color, but it's not too cheesy. That's what I liked about it. Um, I like that, you know, it does have a bit of the woo-woo, but um, not too much. Let's talk about this gorgeous thing from Filofax. Now, this is a metallic gold Safiano um, binder, and it's making my lights go crazy. I'm filming with natural lights, um, and I know the metallic is really messing with it, and I'm sorry, it probably doesn't look the best, but um, it is a leather-like gold um, Safiano from Filofax. So let me open it up. The cool thing about this is that it is a six ring binder. This is the most customizable option that you're gonna get. These rings open up and you can move the pages around and then just close it up. And literally you can make dividers, you can put your own inserts in here. Um, Filofax makes a lot of different options of these binders so the insides look different, you can get them different colors, you don't have to have leather, different price points. Um, they include, you know, calendar pages and note pages and these kind of like boring dividers, but again, I do have a video showing you how you can make um, your own dividers, so you can customize those, it has a top loading envelope, a page marker, notes, the possibilities with this are truly endless, so I would really recommend this um, for anyone who it has a lot of things to plan. If you wanna keep maybe your budget in here as well as your schedule, as well as to-do lists, a home binder, um, if you have kids to keep track of, this allows you a lot of versatility because you can make these sections. Um, and again, a lot of customization, but also with that comes a lot of work and setting it up and all of that. And that can be overwhelming for people. So just keep that in mind also. But this is definitely a fun option um, if you want to really customize and get in there and make it your own. I love this. Filofax was, um, again, very generous in sending this um, organizer to me. And Filofax was my first kind of introduction to the planner world. So I always have a soft spot in my heart for them. 
um, but I really, really love this planner. They also have a notebook that matches it that I included in my holiday gift guide. So check out that if you wanna see um, more of the notebook that matches. Next up, let's talk about personalplanner.com. This website allows you to create a really customized spiral planner. And again, like I've said, I love these spiral planners. So having the option um, to customize it however I want is really wonderful. You can literally choose the colors at the top. You can choose if you want lines in here, what you want at the bottom. You can choose different sizes. I went with this one that's kind of similar to an A5 size. You can, um, it includes the monthlies. There's just so many options with this planner. I really, really love it a lot. Um, again, I was sent this planner by Personal Planner, but I have had a long-standing relationship with them, and I really enjoy this a lot. I think it's a wonderful gift also because it's so customizable. You can change the pages in the back. You can choose what you want. I included an overview as well as some lined pages. I think I put even, yeah, grid pages in here as well. The cool thing is you can choose your covers also. So I just did this really fun marble plant paper um, pattern, but it also comes with this cover. And then I just have them print this really pretty marble cover um, for the, the front and back of my planner. You can customize um, this dashboard. I just have my social media handle, but you can put your name if you want, reward if lost, all of that. Um, this is just, I, I really love personalplanner.com. They have a lot of different options, like I said, for sizing. They also have some pens. They were really um, sweet in sending me like some different friction pens that are erasable and all that. So definitely check them out. It does come again with this top loading envelope. You can choose a color of the ruler. Just so cool. I really love this. Again, I think this is perfect for someone who is just getting started um, in the planner community and doesn't know, you know, if they can commit because this price point is great. Um, you know, if you don't know whether um, what you like, start with something like this. I think spiral is the way to go. Um, when you're not sure and you're just getting started. All right, last but not least, I wanna talk about bullet journaling. Now, um, this notebook was just sent to me um, from the team at Hourglass. They sent me some beautiful makeup um, in a PR package, and then this notebook was in there, and I love it. This style of notebook, I think, is perfect for bullet journaling. If you're not familiar with bullet journaling, again, I have a lot of videos talking about the concept and how I've set up mine. Um, if you followed me for a while, you know I have this love-hate relationship with bullet journaling. Sometimes I will use it and it's perfect. Other times I can't stand it. So while bullet journaling is not an actual um, planner, like a physical planner, it's a concept, I did want to mention it in um, this video because I think that it can be useful um, and it might be a really good option for some people. So again, it's more of a concept, you know, don't worry about um, what, what notebook you're using. But if you decide you do wanna do bullet journaling, just pick up a notebook. Um, I prefer the ones that have lines. Um, and then check out some of my other bullet journal videos and you can kind of see the concept and how you can use it and how I've hacked it um, to make it work better for me and how you can customize it for yourself. So just know that um, bullet journaling is an option for um, a 2017 planner um, for you and, and it is highly customizable. Just check out my videos and that'll kind of give you some more information on how to make it work. All right, you guys, that's a roundup of some of the top planners that I would recommend for you all. If you're still trying to choose a planner for 2017, I hope this gave you some ideas. These are really the only planners I would recommend, the ones that I have used and am using. I switch in and out of planners a lot. If I could give you only one piece of advice in choosing a planner um, for 2017 or at any point when you decide to get organized, um, just be flexible with yourself. Um, I did an entire video on finding planner piece and getting organized, so I'll link that for you. Check it out. Um, be kind to yourself, be flexible. Just choose a system, work with it. If you like it, great, keep moving on. If you don't, then it's okay to switch things up. You don't have to stick to just one system. So 
um, you know, choose one of these planners or these types of planners, start using it, just move forward, take some steps um, to getting organized. And then if that planner doesn't work for you, then you can always choose something else. Again, I hope this was so helpful for you. If it was, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys so much for coming along with me and um, joining me in these videos. I can't wait to show you all the fun, exciting content I have for 2017. So stay tuned and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.